Oh dear. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> uh, ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Smaitrick here, at your service. And yeah, we were potentially originally planning to continue on with No Unleashed River, but surprise, surprise, after all of that time being unable to work due to, or stream due to work, I get fucking sick. Yeah. Uh. yeah. yeah your work has really messed with you a lot in many ways. Yeah, I might need to look at downsizing my time. <laughs> Uh, and even now, I'm just working generally four uh, days in a week. But yeah, uh, to because I'm still recovering uh, <clears throat> in the uh, head and uh, throat, as can obviously properly be heard pretty easily. Uh, we're just going to take it easy instead of spy work and uh, continue on with Slime Rancher. Yeah, this I realize is. Only more relaxing than Minecraft. Well, in Minecraft, you have to worry about designing and things and such. Uh, yeah, also, and, uh, let me do uh, a Let's see. I guess in Minecraft, you also have to worry about uh, nighttime and creepers. Yep. Let's see. Here, you need to worry about tar. I've changed things up a little bit. Okay, it's. Yeah, it's drawing too much again. Uh, let's see, We're not there, here. Let's see, chromatic aberration. Right, was this the one? No. Uh, I think the one that was is affecting things the most is... Was it this one? Subsurface? No. A ambient inclusion was that, one as that, well. That, oh, that one should be disabled, I think. Let's see. I'm just shaking my head. It's, it's, of course, it's not going to do anything until I hit apply. And even then, it's still okay. Hey, bloom is high. Okay, the hell is going on then? Is anything extra running? We have OBS, we have Chatty, we have VC Face, uh, Discord, the game, Stream Deck, oh, Reflection. There we go. This is Depth of Fields. Back. Screw it, everything on low. It still looks good, even low. And it's... It's still... It's, how is it taking up this much? Is something else taking up... Let's see. 100% CPU. Slap. And then it jumps to 60. Okay, what is this? Graphics well, cards. Uh, uh, acts normal now. Let's see. Huh. Okay, the task manager doesn't actually show uh, graphics card use unless you look at performance. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Something is going on. Is it? Be is it because I changed the game to Windows? Let's let's put that down to sixty. That, that seems now to have helped. Humans. Okay, that... I guess it was just overclocking itself to try and hit 60. Instead of limiting it, it looks like more like it was trying to aim for 120 frames. <laughs> Let's oh see, can dear. we put this back up to high then? Yeah, actually, trying to think it was too sometime and forgot about it. That web. In it, it was too, you have... 30, 60, unlimited. There and we go, medium. I put it unlimited and my PC was getting very warm. And then that one time I just decided to check it again, plus, oh, God, I put it unlimited. Put it back to 60 frames. So now I play Gibbos 2, 2 again, my PC generates zero heat. 
get to blow's cold air now when I play you must do. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yeah, yeah don't put it on bastards. limited, people. Don't put unlimited. <laughs> Anyways, not a single damn one of them has stayed in the bloody pen, and they're all just over here feasting on the food when it's... <laughs> Uh, oh, that's adorable! The giant bun is invaded the carrots! <laughs> that is a carrot, right? Uh, there's carrots here, but I think I I threw those over here. It, because this is the water lettuce field. <laughs> okay. Oh, dear. It might be an idea to get rid of the cotton uh, uh, pink Largos and maybe mix them in, uh, mix the cotton uh, one, yeah, the cotton uh, slimes with something else, like the bats or the uh, anglers, because yeah, at the moment we have a bit of a limited production. Hmm. And there's a lot more slimes for us to find. So yeah, we might have to genocide the bunnies. <laughs> Hmm, you should probably yep. combine them with something that likes uh, to be on the surface. And maybe something that... Hmm... Probably I you need to combine it with something that like uh, some other plant life. Yeah, I I'm thinking we it pro would probably be best to mix them with something that likes fruit or veggies, so we can put the chickens here without fear of them getting eaten. And yes, one of them got in there before. I think it was oh. on stream. I, I'm not sure I... Or if, I, I started up a second save on this, I think. Like, let me actually save and quit. Uh, I don't think it was first with me around. Uh, I think you did that on screen. <laughs> uh, here, th this was the one we had. So let's load back into that one. So yeah, that, that was probably on my own save that I did. Though I didn't do much else. Yeah, there, here they are. Yeah, we had upgraded this thing. To try yeah, and keep them okay. contained. Yeah, now I recognize everything. I thought some of it seemed a bit off. Yeah, these are still the same though. But yeah, I, I didn't explore much else. I mostly just combed over the islands that we have access to here a lot more. There are some more stuff for us to find. Uh, yeah, let's scoop these up. Yeah, and oh, find them to mix them. You forget, I was watching Blitz, the YouTuber, and I think he mentioned that the reason the jetpack is a bit more expensive this time is because, well, it's an upgraded version, basically. You get it with already some upgrades on it. Okay. Uh, speaking it's of the jetpack, let's do, take a look. <laughs> yeah, very stereotypically... Chinese looking bunny there for a moment. Yeah, we still have these down here. If we wanted to, we could put a tar, uh, a scare tar on one of the farms upstairs so that the bunnies stay out of that. Uh, let's see. That's probably a good idea. Jetpack. Yeah, we need Radiant Ore for that and Phosphor Plorts, but we've already got enough of those stored up. Do we have anything else that requires Phosphor Plorts at the moment? Also, some of the things that we found, I haven't actually been uh, blueprints, they've been ingredients or you know, materials for crafting, because we found this tank liner somewhere, and yeah, it's required for the tank guards. Ooh. Okay, for now, sell these. And let's see, any upgrades here? Da -da -da. Always yield maximum. Grow twice as fast. Let's go with that one on both, so we have a constant flow of food coming in. And, hmm. Actually, maybe we could, we could start mixing these with uh, something else that likes the dark, like the bats. I just hope they don't go end up flying out. Oh. Oh no. My brain, no! What? 
As long as you start to think of uh, all the Batman memes you might do when you combine them with the bats. <laughs> Crap, no, they could probably make their own bat sign with themselves. <laughs> Up at the night sky. Just flip the angle light ball behind themselves. Look up. And there's a bat sign in the sky. Uh, the bat light. Because, well, it's literally a bat that's a light. Yep. The signal call for bat slime. Let's slime see. bat. Um, probably should not dwell too much on the superhero name for slimes. <laughs> Let's let's look around a bit. So we've already opened this. Uh, some chickens here. We found that. Oh, that just respawned, or just <laughs> popped in. So we might as well grab that. And we have little use for those. And these haven't respawned. Okay. Uh, another resource material. Let's see. Uh. I I think we got the blueprints for the <clears throat> for the refinery link and I haven't we hadn't <clears throat> sorry uh, we hadn't run into any more of those on the other places so yeah I think we just get the first one for free the rest we just have to build ourselves that's yeah, all the floors I, here I think you get you may get some from the characters on the phone. Yeah, we got the blueprint of it, at the very least, from one of them. Okay. I'm just grabbing these because, well, they're easy to grab. We want to save this honey plort because I believe there was a cave that we found somewhere that requires... Well, that has a door which requires a honey plort. Ooh. Hmm. And this is likely going to tank the FPS again. Actually, nope. not as much. Previously, I mean, the... uh, previously when we approached that, it would, well, it would tank the FPS on my avatar. <clears throat> but this, not this time, it seems. Yeah, but well, I think you fixed it. I think you actually, yeah, I think you you experiment and found the problem. I forgot what you uh, figure out the problem was. We are. Okay, I completely missed this thing here before. Uh, it was one of the options here was taking a, an excessive amount of uh, processing power. And I think it was ambient occlusion. Set the quality of ambient occlusion, which creates more realistic lighting by simulating self-shadowing and shadows from indirect light sources. Yeah. Anyways, let's check. Accessing gg.log, the prism... And the the prisma waves seem to affect each area of the island differently, expressing a full spectrum of color in some places, but alternating between or splitting the spectrum in others. And they, uh, and they actively change, sometimes quickly and constantly, others more slowly. In my first year, every season looked different to me. It was lovely while it lasted. Okay. Oh, we need that. Yep, Radiant Ore, just one more and we will have the jetpack. Uh, yeah, the phosphors look good, which whatever they're <laughs> combined now, huh? Yeah, and Let's cut it. that light, it makes me wonder... Will they dare to do seasonal changes in this game? Um, maybe. Uh, let's get... To yeah. I get when some games does that, but I understand it's not the easiest thing to do. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think we actually explored much in this area at all, or if at all. So, yeah, let's just go this way and see where it goes. I think we turned around almost instantly or something. What have we here? Oh, oh it's the rock slimes. We haven't got any of these, so let's just grab a few. Chickens, oh, and the honey. Mm. What does rock slimes like to eat? 
Uh, veggies. Their favorite is the heartbeat, I believe. Okay, some buzz wax. We're going to need that for stuff. Oh, and what is that over there? That is the other area that we've unlocked. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is just somewhere Great for Wall chickens to spawn. Hmm. Or it's just used to block off sight of uh, areas that <clears throat> haven't been developed yet. Oh, hello. Where is your key? I think you're very likely right on that one. And so, I think I figure out an interesting combination. Yep. Uh oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that, that was a hunter's line before, well, that. And there's more already. So let's just quickly grab that. And seriously, where is the key for this thing? Must be on the other side then. So we're just going to run. Oh yeah. Let's grab that. Okay, it apparently that is just either just out of reach or it's already been emptied. Is it me or your does tall slime look more terrifying oh, at night? Really again? This, each time we find one of those, we don't have stuff to feed them. Yeah, that is kind of like a middle finger. And okay, let me guess, he loves meat as well. Okay, we're going to need a bunch of chicken for that one. And uh, it's a bit busy here, it seems. It, I accidentally shot some of the beeswax. And you did again. Uh, I got rid something. of the water letters on purpose. Okay, it seems they spread a hell of a lot faster now. Holy. Okay. All right. The idea I had. Would, wouldn't the combining rock slime with cotton slime be a bit comical? Uh, rock with which? Cotton. Yeah, <laughs> it would be a bit ironic. Yeah. To ha uh, combine something. Uh, damn it, wild slimes. Oh, that one's stone. Uh, we could find one of those here. Let's get rid of that. Wait, yeah, to just mix something rock hard with something soft. <laughs> yeah, that, would that be almost a paradox? Yeah, though I very much presume it would still hurt. So, bye-bye. Um... I'm seeing plenty of stones, you know, of rock slimes, but I'm not seeing actually any of their plorts. And that one, oh, those only eat veggies. Wait, I saw a warning that sign. One. There we go, let me take that. And yeah, this is because those angry slimes spawned there. Oh. This place is primed for another... <clears throat> This place is primed for another tar infestation, so let's just be quick. Uh, hello. Right. Where do we combine honey, uh, honey with another one of the slimes? Uh, honey and phosphor, I think. And we, someone's been here before, and we got a strange diamond. I don't think we actually found any. But I, I don't think we. Actually I'm not sure now. We, maybe we found some of those uh, whilst we streamed uh, Slime Brancer 1. Let's nope. see. This is new. Now, it, it was in there before. It was just a very rare spawn. I remember oh. some of the gadgets required it. Let's see. Even in the dark, these diamonds seem to shine as if light is passing through them. Strange diamonds are highly valuable for their use in a variety of warp tech processes. Being almost impossibly dense and intricate in their composition, a strange diamond can reflect light within itself so profoundly that it actually bends time. <laughs> okay. 
Strange Basically, sounds like... not a toy. Yeah, it's basically a fractal. <laughs> Should That's... probably avoid eating it. <laughs> uh, strange diamonds are most often found in caves and in uh, and other dark places, as if the natural world wants to keep their brilliance to all to itself. Deposit the strange diamond in the lab. Da -da -da. Work vac upgrades and slime science. Okay. Oh, hello. What does this contain? So storage cell. Okay. That's part of the tank booster. Ooh. And this side is locked. I'm guessing this is the other place where we ended up before. The one that we couldn't open. Hmm. I still need to make a map of this place. Well, first off, I'd probably help if I were to uncover this part of the map. There's another door with no clear keyhole somewhere. Hmm. No, oh, and the TARS beat us here before already. But the, okay, where the hell did you come from? Hmm. Okay, might just be time to get out of here. Yeah, perfect tactical retreat, my good sir. And yeah, it's, I think we're going to have to put down a bunch of refinery links on each island, just so we don't have to keep running all the way back to deposit everything. And... <laughs> Let's see. Okay, the exit should be somewhere around here. Oh, okay, that one needs a bat. I... Yeah, again, it, it would be nice if we could mark the map somehow, or if those key, yeah, you know, those statues would get marked. Seriously? Uh, well. Let's see. Seriously? To... Hmm? As you said, bat. I saw to hear a bat outside the window. <laughs> the timing, <Yeah>. seriously. <laughs> okay, this is where we need to go. Just need to keep in mind that the bat cave is just a. Where is the exit? Yes, people, Sweden have bats, and they are small and cute. <laughs> Those are angler ports. And that's tar. Okay, I'm guessing the port teleporter is actually here where they're, they're lined. To, there's a line, actually. Which means that, it's probably in here. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Oh, I see. It. This one we saw before. Yeah, it's the one right here. It's a shortcut to, oh, the way out. Around, do not have to go all the way around. <clears throat> okay. Hmm. Okay, where is that refinery link here? Oh. <laughs> They're really right freaking next to us. Okay. Nice. Might as well put these in. And hmm, yeah. Let, let's just go. Gr let's just grab a few, and then we'll get rid of the largos because they're a bit of a hazard at the moment. Maybe. Okay, something behind me pinked. You know, pinged. Maybe we ditch oh? the cottons for the moment since they are the biggest escape hazards at the moment. So we just get <laughs> tabbies. And let's see, what else can we find here? We already have enough phosphor in the bo in the basement. Oh. Only tabby? 
Perhaps? Uh, yeah, we um, could do that again. <laughs> okay, yep, yep. Thank you. Oh, no. Should we generally save? I wanted to just to give it to the cottons, but I realized they need to become honey bunnies. <laughs> well, Guy I mean, would like one of those slimes to remind him of a ling. All right, he was one of them. I was to say, ain't that the normal thing that married couples call each other? Yep. And Guy, Guy personally are definitely not a few that really braces that part. Okay, why are they just <laughs> snuggled up together like that? Snuggle party? Uh, but they're cats. Cats can be snuggly. Have you just seen? <laughs> did you see the gifts? Uh, gift I just showed you today. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's why they're all hungry. They were probably going after the same chicken. Uh, right okay. on cue, we have a lot of chickens. Uh, let's see. Was there anything specific about the anglers? If they wanted the dark or not? Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, they want sea hens. Yes. We got a guest. Okay, they, they will stun things, but they won't actively do... They won't... They aren't actively hostile or anything. Hello, noon. I think it's noon. Yep, it is. Oh, and we've got angry <laughs> anglers. Let's grab you. And uh, I was about to grab the stone slime, but uh, or rock slime, but okay. Angry anglers. Down. It instantly made me think that you pissed off some angler fishers. As in fishermen. Thank you. Okay. Now let's just grab a few more if we can find them. Uh, what the heck do you mean with that, Nguyen? Oh, no, it's a Nguyen again. We really like having you here. You're awesome. A good little fox. Uh, yeah. Now, how are you doing, Noon? Hopefully better than I. Let's see. But uh, yeah, uh, be, I, I'm recovering from something. So instead of no one lives forever, we're doing it a bit easier with Slime Rancher. Let's see. Oh dear. Th that reminds me. There's another game. I also almost uh, also may have the, had this um, no game mixed up with almost. Oh? Uh, I think you may know this game for a certain YouTuber had played it. Okay. I expect you to die. Oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, plenty of yeah. people have uh, made videos about that for a while. Yeah, but I noticed something weird. The, the, the sequel came out last year. And people did not make many episodes on that one. Okay. Hmm. At least I think it came out last year, or it was early access. But some, hmm. some of them just made one or two episodes, then nothing. And I went hmm. only quiet. Ah, there is the marker. Uh, could be that it wasn't actually as good as the previous one, or maybe, yeah, just timing with when it released and such. Maybe. Okay. Can we get up there from here? I'm, I'm actually, I actually had a bit of a thought uh, just now, since both the anglers and the tabbies eat meat. Uh, uh, we could probably just combine them. Oh yeah. And there we go. That's this area revealed. And let's see. I'm not sure if we visited those. Hello, is that just an odd looking plant or. Oh. 
these carrots. Okay, and yeah, it's just sitting and relaxing a bit, drinking tea, gonna sculpt a bit as well. Okay, and um, yeah, thank you for that. I, I hope by tomorrow it'll be better. It's not like I'm just going to keel over at any second, but I get the feeling if I would do too much, I definitely would. Oh. Not with streaming, but uh, yeah, just having to focus enough to actually drive to work and such. Uh, yeah, that might yeah, that might be enough to really put me uh, in a more dangerous situation. Yeah, I seriously thought of being you being getting overworked. For you, you actually haven't had many days off. True, uh, baddie crystal Largo, <laughs> and there we have the crystal uh, boom slimes. Yeah, I'm very ready. Yeah, like. You had a, at one time four night shifts in a row, and you only got two days off. I mean, you should, yeah. should have had four. Then they just gave you more night shifts and gave you like one Ooh. day off, if even that. Okay, I did not expect that to be in there. I knew that yeah. this game had lava because I was, well, I was exploring around on that other save, but I didn't expect it to be just in here. Oh, you in what here? Oh, yeah. Be hello. careful in here. Yeah, I think I think uh, lava would have about the same effect as falling into the slime sea, only a bit more toasty. <laughs> um, probably way more painful. Yeah, the stuff up there. Oh no! You hear that? Yep, the tars are cleaning out the place already again. Oh, hello, drone. I, I do have to say, they kind of fit Halloween. Yeah. It's, I feel at home here. When I traveled across the glass desert, there was caves just like this one that gave me shelter and allowed me to survive my trek. Just feeling walls around me and solid ground beneath my feet gave me all the security I needed to close my eyes and making through another night. But I can do without some of it. Like if I were, if I ever smell roasted cactus again, I'm pretty sure I'd barf. Roasted cactus? Uh, oh right, Gloucester was a lot of firestorms. Yep. That's what they became known as Gloucester. Wait, did they don't. Did one of them just explode out of nowhere? And yeah, I'm, I'm guessing the tar. <laughs> Follow the RGB computers this time because they actually are changing colors. Yeah, they do explode. Huh. Holy. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, they did shift around the colors that much, if at all, in the previous game. Yeah, okay, something for noon here. I understood. Overworked? What Overworked. The will work. Oh, I, 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 just gonna, I gonna you lay down under the desk <laughs> and re question my life. Uh, oh. Yep, under my desk now. Because they heal me. Yep. Good. But this is my life now. The desk goblin. Okay, let's just return <laughs> with these at the moment. <clears throat> Oops, you're still here. Yeah, I, I think with the cotton slimes, there are plenty enough around here for us to, f well, to just uh, wild farm. <laughs> there are uh, plorts. Uh, yeah, I, I still like the idea to just turn them to honey bunnies. <laughs> Just for the pun. Okay. <clears throat> we, yeah, we, we will need to give it a roof to keep them from jumping out. And we don't have that yet. So we haven't found the... We didn't run across the cave where we need the honey plort yet. So it is just... It is just taking up space at the moment. 
Oh, come on, no. No, no. No need to make a goblin avatar for me. I'm not a goblin. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Um, first, let me deposit this somewhere a bit safe. Actually, no. Those things attract... Those things attract uh, slimes from a far distance. So maybe it is smart to just keep it on me. And hmm. if we had the water, if we money. had the water uh, pack upgrade, I would just give them a plort of something else to just Wait, have them all have turn it? to tar. Uh, we don't. We we would have the a fifth slot at the bottom of the screen, I believe. If we did. Wait. Wait, wait, what's the... Oh, wait, the blue bar, there is the stamina, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was the water bar for some reason. Uh, let's see. Water tank. We need puddle plorts and angler plorts, as well as deep brine. Let's see. Death Goblin. I kind of wonder, where do I get the term Death Goblin from? I feel like I've heard it somewhere. Let's hope that's far enough away. So that we can get at least one more harvest of cotton plorts out of this batch. Go. <clears throat> okay, that one bounced off of a slime and into the other. <clears throat> okay. And, and just, just remember, you, you have feeders on this upgraded defense. True. Okay, let's just grab all of these or bleeds as much as we can. Okay. Then let's double check if we need any for upgrades at the moment. Otherwise, we're just going to sell them all. Let's say from noon. I just imagine a regular desk worker during his overtime with you say Desk Goblin, or a perfect artist with extremely bad posture. I think that's uh, the light, louder point is actually a band's mascot. Goblin Nomicon or something? Okay, sounds like it would be a band somewhere. Yeah, they have a mascot uh, in some of the music videos that is a goblin. <laughs> Okay. We haven't eaten it all yet. There we go. Uh, but yeah, hopefully by tomorrow I'll have fully recovered. And yeah, I hope we. Sh mm. We won't be able. To, we won't be able to do a stream then because I'll still have work to go to then. <clears throat> but at least on Tuesday, or uh, let's yeah, it, it's like uh, no, late shifts. So Tuesday, I would be able to stream again. And yeah, if I'm not recovered by tomorrow. Yeah, then maybe another singular stream in the evening <clears throat> like this. Maybe more Slime Rancher. Maybe I'd feel up for No One Lives Forever instead. Yeah, so, you know, No One Lives Forever or Slime Rancher, depending on state for. So far, this game is a very near perfect uh, game to play when you still want to play something, but. Yeah, you don't don't have uh, you, you need some just something more relaxing. Yeah. Okay, last one. 
that we went far. That was a bounce on his skull. Uh, oh, almost forgot. Something cute happened today. Oh. My niece gave me a hug. Okay. Before she went home and she said goodbye. <laughs> Apparently, they, they've been. Uh, my family have been out in potting, except me, since. Yeah, my, my mother, no way. I have a, a bit of a limitation in the, how much people I can handle and the noise. Yeah, I have it similarly. Yeah, so I think did hear that my little niece or my my brother, uh, my older brother, no, uh, my twin side, that she that little rascal had been charming the chefs and workers <laughs> on free shrimp cookies. Yeah. <laughs> They, they even went to a give her it uh, and all that. Just was so, so charmful. Okay, time to clean out the rabbits. And I can say this. I you know you don't like kids, Cillian, but I think she might be one of the kids you will have hard time to not smile at. It, it's not. It's not entirely that I don't like kids. It's more I don't like bratty kids and such. Actually. I, Who does not? Uh, I think I think many people are with you on that one. Like there's cute brightness and they're just yeah, the insufferable brightness. Yeah. Okay. I had a feeling that one was going to bounce, like a check. Many think about it. That's probably why I did not like Dennis the Menace. Okay, I actually remember that series. Uh, though I don't remember much about it, I mostly re remember the main character, Dennis, and uh, the quote-unquote antagonist, Mr. Wilson, I think? Yeah, it was Wilson. I, I, never, I did not like his show. I, actually, as a kid, I did not like any show where the main character was a bratty kid uh, pranking everyone. This probably also yeah. why I did not like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Okay. I... No. Uh, let's see. What was the name of the brainy one? Uh, Double D, or Ed with two Ds. Yeah. Just hearing that name as a grown-up just sounds so wrong. But I, I liked the... I liked him and the almost bald one, but I did not like the short one. Do you know the one that always schemed? Yeah, Eddie. Yeah, I, I did not like Eddie at all. I did you two bounce. But the... Already escaping, huh? How did... <laughs> Just bouncing up. Okay. Join us. Uh, no chicken coop here this time. Because we were using the other coop as a chicken, uh, well, the other corral here as a chicken farm, and then one of the bunny slimes got in. Oop. <laughs> they all got flashed by one of the anglers. Uh, yeah, guess that means we're going to need to uh, go grab some chickens and make a, a coop. Yeah, just don't forget to sleep, otherwise, the fat. Oh wait, wrong game. <laughs> let's see. let's put it up here. We might as well upgrade it. It helps prevent chickens from flying the coop. Really, I think it's more for keeping slimes out. Yeah, well, unless sea hens can fly. I don't. Oh, hello, Elder Collector. Safely and gently moves Elder Chickens away from the younger generation and stores them in a collector. Okay. Uh, Vitamizer, latest in France poultry tech. The Vitamizer bathes the hens in Vita rays, allowing them to produce eggs twice as fast. Let's save up some of our money for the gadgets, at least, still. Yeah, let's. Okay. Then. Yeah, grab some vegetables for the rocks, since we don't have any of those yet. 
Probably a good idea to set up another farm just for that, at the least. Yeah, most likely. And probably also a good idea to have some storage house that we can... A freaking gen! Every time the bloody things pop up, we just don't have anything to feed them. Yeah, do. Do here's another thing here. They were extremely rare when we streamed the first game. Extremely. And we already met those several times on two streams. And this is the second stream. Yeah, I think that's the fourth one we've seen in total now. Yeah, so I guess they increased their... Spawn rate. <laughs> yeah, spawn rate, so they're not as uncommon. So you have a more chance to actually... I can't believe I say this. Shoot them with chickens. <laughs> oh no. No. No, now I have a flashback from hot shots. Okay. You, you haven't seen it? Uh, not sure. It, it, it's an old, it, it, it's a old parody of Rambo. Oh, that one with the, the Wiro Yankovic? Unsure? I, I, I forgot the actor's name. It, it, he, oh wait, the actor is, is one of the main actors in the older seasons of uh, Two and a Half Men. Uh, oh, Charlie Sheen. The, uh, Charlie Sheen, yes, the big one. He actually, as it, he was actually the Rambo of that movie, or series, as it, it was more than one movie, I think. Okay. And he, in the first movie, grabs a chicken <laughs> and uses it as an arrow. Yeah, I remember and, that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I should probably investigate if I can find GIF of that sense. Good I'm gods! I'm pretty sure he shoots Saddam Hussein with it, uh, with, and Saddam is talking like bloody Sylvester from the Looney Tunes. It's so sure it was... suck it ass. I'm not sure if that was Saddam or one, uh, someone working for him, but... Yeah, it, it pissed on someone's chest. <laughs> and then... And, wait, wait, did not only... It got pissed through the heart? Got stuck? And laid an egg. And Noon is just enjoying the show. Noon is loving this. And oh no, I think now we remember another scene. Someone kicking someone so hard that their nuts fall out through the mouth. <laughs> That's in a sort of wrestling arena thing. Oh, sure. They're not really. Uh, a fighting arena thing. Or something what is like. Slime singing? Yep. Or maybe that was a... I'm not sure if we installed that happiness upgrade in that tank, in that corral or not. Okay. Extra tank rock plorts. So put those in there. And yeah, we we need to go find some food for those. Just they're starting to okay. get unhappy already. Wait, uh, you know what? I, I think I will recommend that movie to my dad. Well, when we next be unsure what movie to watch, I may recommend that one. For that. It's one of those you would probably want to call classic. Classic stupid parody. Yeah. Sadly, the only ones doing parody now are you, Turbos, but that's probably for the best. Okay, that's one chicken. Let's see. Oops. I think, yeah, the, I think well. the, the last parody movie made might have been Epic Movie. Mm, which was maybe. kind of meh. Someone's more in chat, it seems. Hello! <laughs> Whose name I can't read? Uh, let's see, I have it over here. Pramsis06, hello. Uh, yeah, we're... Because I'm hello. recovering from something, I'm just taking it easy with some Slime Rancher instead of uh, No One Lives Forever. Uh, yeah, how are you and what have you uh, been up to? 
Let's see. And yeah, now that we have the jetpack. Okay. This looks like right. it's something of import. Yeah. Uh, okay. See, so Ramsey. Uh, sorry. Ramsey has not been up to much. Please don't sound and shout as Gordon Ramsey, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's try and get into there. It have been up to much, but I've also tried Slime Rancher 2. It looks and is really cool. Yeah, it is. So far, they have basically taken the previous game and, well, streamlined some things and added in other things. And a lot of polish. Yeah, it, but it, it still feels like the same game. In a, a, oh, It still feels connected to the other game. True. Um... Yeah, let's just return back, put the chickens in the coop, and then take a look in the laboratory for what we actually need for making us <clears throat> a refinery link. There you go, let them get to work. We might want to put something else here. Hmm. Actually, wait, I just realized something here. Uh, uh, sorry, go on. Uh, maybe <laughs> they're stacking to try and get out. Uh, maybe it'll be a better idea to mix these with something that is a bit more easier to get. So that they aren't just pure carnivores. So it, it'll be easier to feed them. Since I think... I think that fruits and such actually grow faster. Or at yeah, least it's, it, they're easier to handle. Yeah, in a sense, it, it actually I almost forgot. Yeah, it's usually good to make them a bit omnivorous, so to speak. Yeah. Let's see. Bram C06. It would have been cool if in the end of the game story or as a DLC, you were able to go to the previous islands from the first game. That, that would be pretty cool, yeah. Might not be impossible that... Well, we know that I might do that. Mm, let's see. Utilities, also, water cannons, heal, no. I'm gonna say, check something. Uh, uh, Nuin, you're a fox now, correct? <clears throat> Pardon for that. Yeah, I guess it's easy to stretch. <clears throat> but say, if, if, if Noon is now a fox. Wouldn't this be mean that we can actually take our hand cannon here and shoot hen hands at him? <laughs> uh, I guess so, yep. Okay, something cracked there. <clears throat> Let's see, tabby plorts for that. Boom plorts, cotton plorts, pink plorts. I'm... This would probably be the most useful one at the moment, but let's still keep our money saved up a bit uh, for an extra tank or let's see we don't yeah a refinery link so we can put one of these on the other islands we just need a bit more jelly stone you need one more jelly stone yep also let's feed these slimes we did put them down there for a reason and well this fruit is going to waste quite literally and for some reason, with something that we've turned off, these have lost their their depth texture. So they just look like red squares instead of strawberry squares. Oh dear. There we go. There's a bunch of them go. before. I'm guessing some of them got into the other areas of, of the cave or just found a way out. Oh well. We'll be fixed at some point. Might as well grab this. Uh, let's see here. Can I think here. Okay. Uh, angler eat meat, correct? Yep. Maybe it's good to combine angler with cotton? 
and yeah. Tabby with something else? Yeah, maybe the Tabbies with the rocks for the moment. Yeah, that could be a good idea. That way it'd be easier to feed them for now. Yeah, the, the annoying thing with the t cotton slimes is that they jump so high, so we need a net over their heads to keep them inside. Yeah, I, just, I wonder what do we need to get the damn net? Yeah, it should just be one of the normal upgrades. And I'm not seeing anything that requires phosphor in here for the moment. Does any of these... Unavailable. Oh, we already have one of these. Okay. Okay, we need phosphors for those. So let's put this batch in here. And sell the rest. And this should be enough to keep these happy for a bit. Where are the others? Hopefully. Oh, there's two of them. Go eat. Oh dear. And none over here. Okay, next time uh, night hits, we might as well grab a few extra phosphorus to dump in there. Maybe if we find the bats again, put those in there as well. Okay. <laughs> okay, it is mean, but still. Yeah, one of you stop. <laughs> okay, tabbies. I yeah. Actually, probably easier to just grab these guys. Put the tabbies back in here. And add the rock slimes to their cage. There's another angler in there. And that's... It's right there by the feeder. There he is. There he is. Yeah, he... that's not it. Oh, wait. That... <laughs> oh, <fun. laughs> Seriously? Did I just... Yep, you mistook a piece of lattice for <laughs> an anglerfish. And I didn't realize it until the, the game, my skin stopped being pixelated. Uh, you know what would have been extra hilarious there? If it was an uh, angler tabby, because that would have meant you had been catfished. Uh, I'm going back onto the desk. <laughs> 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 Such a okay, let's look for some jellystone. There should be some back in the cave over here. Um, a bit more this way. Yeah, behind these rocks. Uh, <clears throat> see, uh, yeah, we need an airnet and this. Okay, I can't see the other question at the moment. Let's see, what's your favorite new mechanic, item, or slime in this game? And you probably need the air net. Yeah, we need, we're need. we going to really need that to be able to hold in the, <clears throat> the cotton slimes. And let's see, favorite mechanic so far? I, I can definitely say one favorite change that they've made so far is that they act, that you actually... You, you don't need to... You, you can't buy the upgrades just outright for money that you actually need to go get resources to get the upgrades. Yeah, a, a more nicer progression system. Yeah, so... It, a bit more you balanced. You, you can't just... Well, you can't just grind your way through the upgrades just by, well, breeding a bunch of slimes. Mm. Yeah. No, what would be your current favorite slime be? Favorite of the slimes. Let's see which of ones have we've seen. Uh, we've got the angler. We've got the the body slimes. Crystals are can and okay. We haven't actually. We don't actually have too many of the new ones in here yet. We have the cottons, which are probably a, the favorite of a bunch of people because a lot of people just like bunnies. There's the angler and there's the bats. Um. 
Yeah, I don't think... I can't remember any other new ones at the moment. Hey, so... I, think, I think my current two favorites might be Cotton and Batty. <laughs> uh, I'd probably say Angler because, yeah, it's just funny how they get... They, <laughs> they flash all of the other slimes around them. Yeah. However, let me say this, it's hard for me to pick a favorite, so I, I'm just saying Bat and Bonnie for now, for those are the ones I can think of at the moment, but the more we're gonna, I think about it, the more I be, get undecisive. Oh, how did you get out? Really? <laughs> These guys can jump as well? Well, okay. you, you haven't given them a tall fence, so... There we go. Now stay in. Uh, and there we go. Uh, what the? Boing. What the? <laughs> oh. What the heck? Okay, seriously, what is with all of these high flying slimes? <laughs> Uh, Are they trying to sabotage? Are they trying to sabotage the ranch? 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 Looks like it. <laughs> they stack. Yeah, they do stack. Probably there were almost too few with the other one to do that, that were stacking thing. Yeah, they were just jumping really freaking high, these guys. Let, let's see if we can watch them do it again. Yeah, they're looking at it and okay that yeah they just get Oop. oh okay they can jump again if they hit something on the way down or no they just they just they they just leap <laughs> okay well at least these guys are happy for the moment But yeah, we, we've seen plenty of slime stacking in the first uh, Slime Rancher, where they just... <laughs> they were just filling up an entire corner, trying to crawl over the edge. Okay. Get this batch. And yeah, we're going to need to either keep the... <clears throat> keep the anglers happy for the moment, or just not deal with them oh. for the moment. <laughs> They say they will be stuck in if they're really hungry. Yeah, but they they can jump out even without st stacking at the moment. Uh, yeah, just mean that they will try to escape if they there's no food. Yeah, so let's see. We have five of them. So if we have five spare chickens, we can do that and feed them. Yeah, we should probably combine them with something that. Uh... Like uh, vegetables or fruits. Yeah. Um, At least on TV you can have a more stable chicken population. Let's see, how many do we have at the moment? We have two roosters. Okay, we've got a few chicks. Hmm. Actually, yeah, let's go with this. Grab Are these we able to three. afford the internet, by the way? Uh, we should be able to afford it. Now it's it was 425, but still for the moment. Return to sender those two. And there you go. One each. Okay. Still you want over. Okay, you guys are getting netted. There, now stay in. They want the plorts. That's what it is. Oh, their faces. I kind of forgotten that we had these installed. Well, Sorry, we do need the money. Yeah, so let's just empty them out.
I think we may be a bit off with another the net. Which we probably need. Go. Yeah, they just really want plorts that aren't their own. Okay. Now any new plorts should be going into the collector. Uh, we don't have a vegetable farm though at the moment. There we go. Pinks are very easy to get, but they're um, also. Hmm? Uh, oh wait, never mind. No, I no the don't get pixelated on a number. I thought it had nine nine nine. But nope. It's eight nine two. Let's grab these. Wait. Oh god. It, it actually be comical if we had nine 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 considering SCP-999 is a slime <laughs> in the SCP Foundation. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Crystal, Angler, and Puddle, and Deep Brine. So Anglers are going in there. And we're going to sell these. Maybe we could just grow some carrots instead of the water lettuce at the moment. I didn't mean to grab you. Let's see. Ta -ta -ta, twice as many eggs. There we go. Okay. They should be far enough away for them to be left alone. And yeah, if we just put another corral here of just vegetarian slimes, they'll be safe. We can use another one of these for veg you know, for veggies. <clears throat> At least they be safe until they get the taste for flesh. Okay, let's see. Carrots. I'll go and refill my glass. Okay. So don't die. Now, let's see. There aren't any other Largos marked here, but there is an area over this way. So let's go... Actually, we were just there earlier. Okay. Um, let's see. Can we get up? Yep. And then... Wait for the energy to recharge? Okay. Oh. Hello. Bye-bye. Not sure where that one came from. Okay, some more brine. It still seems a bit random in if you get two or three of the item. Back. Uh, well, you're alive. Welcome back. Thank you. Boing. That was a frown on your face. Oh, jellystone. Go choose that. I think yeah, there was another note of it here. And we still haven't gone back to the cave, I think. Should have respawned there as well. Let's see, what was button was it again? B G N not M C V C There is a button to go into the building mode, but I forgot there we go, T. Okay. Was just checking that. Okay, some more brine. And let's see. Mm, I'm trying to think bit. of what to do next. Hmm. We should probably Good go question. find some puddles, uh, some puddle slimes. Yeah, also he doesn't to notice something. Hmm? You're starting to sound a bit happier. Uh, probably because I'm relaxing more and my throat is starting to get less sore, I think. Let's see. Possible. But do you know what else I think? Just this game. 
There's this game and the smiling slime. Oh, <laughs> good timing, <laughs> overjoyed statue. <laughs> Like, I don't believe in fate or destiny or anything, but I just notice sometimes things just line up so freaking perfectly that it starts to make me think like something is trying to fuck with me. Oh, I've been there so many times. <laughs> uh, but that, that could also just be the human condition of pattern finding where there aren't patterns. Yeah, do they? And I am. Hello. I am religious, but not too deeply. I, I, yeah, you know this. I'm a bit more relaxed in my religious views. What is that there? That's either a rock with a crack in it or with some sort of power cable running through it. Let's see, is there it an entry way to like the cable or something? Might as well grab some of these. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Hold on. If, it, if this thing can suck up chickens... Uh, I dislike the phrase I just used. <laughs> Even though it's a bit correct. Will it work with cooked chickens? Uh, it might. <laughs> I'm not sure if it would taste the same, though. I was more thinking... Maybe have a new method of uh, forced delivery? <laughs> yeah, just suck up the chicken, take aim, and launch it across the bloody island. Yep, I just hope Noon on the other side has their little fox mouth wide open, ready to catch the grilled chicken. Okay. <clears throat> Just gather some more things and head back. I don't want to waste all of the... I don't want to waste the food that we've collected at the moment. Trying to get to whatever that spot might be. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, Hina, do you remember the bottle had issues with yesterday? Uh... Oh, no, oh, so, oh, wait, not yesterday. Day before yesterday. During the uh, last stream. The... Uh, you, you mean the the, the dumb part? Yeah, the, the, yeah, the end with uh, No One Lives Forever, where I didn't figure out where the hell to go? No, no, no. A bottle. Bottle. Oh, that's... <laughs> Being an idiot. Yeah, uh. I, I got it open yesterday. Do I have to ask for help? Even they all struggle to open it, especially the biggest guy. But then yeah. they had an idea. They brought out the wrench. <laughs> you know, the old pirate wrench thingy that, that, that looks like a... Yeah, you know. Uh, I forgot what... Griffin Grip or something? I th I, is it, you know, I think you know which, which tool I'm talking about. They could work for opening a bottle. Yeah. And let's see. Victor's calling. And another of our friends is calling. Beatrix, I've done it. I believe I've cracked the super, the super mysterious code that was sent to me. It was astoundingly complex. I believe that the AI that created this code displays a comparable intellect to my own. So very advanced. Almost alien. Oh, you're probably wondering what it said. Well, I determined this mysterious, perhaps even alien AI, sent a message that says... Hello. <laughs> okay, I, I like that they, they that he blinks now as well. He, he just looks so adorable. <laughs> oh dear. Not much, but pleasantries count for something. More importantly though, the moment I cracked it, I received another message. It's almost as though this mysterious AI is monitoring me. How exciting! Um, <laughs> of course, he'd be exciting about Big Brother peeking in on him. <laughs> I haven't decrypted it yet, but the code is considerably even, considerably more complex. This should be fun. Oh, back to work as ever. 
It seems that Victor found himself a friend. Yeah, and oh, I think Noon is writing something in the chat here. Let's see. Promise? Promise what? Uh, oh, 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 potato. <laughs> uh, because of the pink text, I mistook. Yeah, that's what I was Tatum giving the advice earlier, not Ramsey. <laughs> so I doubt that's a Tatum. Tatum here? Hello, yeah. Tatum! <laughs> and yeah, hello. How, how's things going with you? Let's see. Hola, Beatrix. Are you there? It's me, Ogden Artit. No, Ogden Ortis. We're here to off on a big new adventure on a mysterious island filled with secrets and danger and maybe a few succulent fruits or veggies. The world has never seen before? Uh, you know I had to ask. Ever since you got me a steady supply of uh, Cordoba fruits, I've been reaching for even greater culinary heights within the far, far range. Plus, I'm getting pretty tired of keep eating kookabuda pie, kookabuda souffle, pudding, con carne, con... Uh, I'm running out of ideas. I'd willpower. Dear. Uh, so, if you see something new, please tell me all about it. Tasty treats aside, I want to know all about the new flora and fauna you discover. Never forget, every bit of this wild world is precious and worth our care and respect. And stay that hydrated true. out there. All that adventuring will work up a sweat, so take this water tap. Okay. Portable water tap. That'll make it easier to fight off the tar. Good luck, Beatrix. Keep me posted. I'm rooting for you. Why did and... I mystery that to... I will keep you ro roasted? <laughs> Uh, yeah, because uh, yeah. it does fit. It, it, he would probably be the kind of person who would say, keep me roasted. <laughs> Instead of keep yeah. me posted. <laughs> yeah, just for the sake of pause, but then again, I've been spending a lot of time with you. True. Perhaps too I much. Started, <laughs> yeah, I started to expect pause, and I also may have entered being an uncle. Uh, and yeah. apparently the fourth one is coming not during November. <laughs> uh, Ooh, part actually... of your family is really just trying to outbreed the other half of it, huh? No, no, they are keeping up. However, I actually met my third niece, my second niece, the one that was born uh, some months ago. Okay. She's so tiny and she did the unexpected. Oh. She left my beard alone. <laughs> uh, kids do <laughs> tend to go for those. Yeah, but she she's she's really be really still see black and white apparently. Okay. So I had to be very close for her to even notice me. Now let's see, where was that cave thing that we spotted earlier? Or not even a cave thing. It, uh, there it is. What is that there? Yeah, for people curious, when I met my other nephews and nieces, the two first one, oh. the first thing they did were grab my beard and pull off a strand. That's this place here. Okay, <laughs> mystery solved. But yeah, I'm kind of glad that the third one Left my beard alone. <laughs> For otherwise, I'd be concerned if all three first meet is resulting and I'm losing a, a bit of my beard. Okay. Let's go back over here. See if we can find some fruit along the way. You know, they all just talk about fruits. <laughs> and I have fruit in my fridge. Uh, I actually forgot to put in the, you know, yeah, put the carrots in the farm, but oh well. Uh, yeah, I think it was this way that the fruit bat and the fruit largo was, or the bat largo. Wait. Ain't there a, 
an animal called Honey Bat? Could be. Yep. Already tar. Uh oh. Uh. There's also the hunter over there. Let's see. Can we? Yeah. He. Let's just put the refinery link here. And quickly get. <laughs> Let's quickly put these in there instead of banking them off of it. Pardon? Okay. And let's see, we've got the Haunter Largo that way. And Starlight yeah, Strand. The bat, was, the bat was there. Starlight Strand. That, that sounds beautiful. Unpleasant. Yeah, that is how this place is called. Okay. And I'm just keeping an eye out for tar and such, since, well, we can only. Well, this is a pretty easy way to get rid of them, but they can still bite us whilst we do it. But you own them in you. Um... Apparently, I'm the special today. A fitting music. <laughs> and... Okay. Uh, let's just send all of you out for a moment and grab this. We're probably going to need more of this. For a moment, I thought you were to have dropped it into the ocean by mistake. Yep. And that was a Hunter Phosphor Largo that got eaten. Out of room. Okay, yeah, we need Ooh. to bail. Tactical retreat! Yeah, we're going to need to find those puddle slams so we can get our water pack. <laughs> we need to find the bloody marker for this area. Nope. Back off. The sound they make. Wink. Actually, now that we have the jetpack, we can probably get over that wall there, so the 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 bat plort door won't even be that ne necessary. I almost said necessary. Where the hell did that come from? Well, I have talked about my nephew and niece, so... Perhaps. Perhaps. Actually. And also, I think I got a nice nickname for Tall Slime. No. Yeah. Rainbow Death Pumpkins. <laughs> okay. So I don't know if that's a nickname, if not a code name, perhaps. All right. Let's hope that this place isn't tar infected at the moment, or would infect. Find a freaking lead. Eat your bloody chicken. And it's gone. And... How rude! It burps at you! And of course the pink slimes just charge and mass at me with all of the chickens. Okay. Nom 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 nom. I don't know exactly how much we got out of that, but still. For once we had the bloody food to uh, give them. I think he has earned about... Almost 600? Or more? Still a good amount. For, look how much money you have now. Yeah, 944. I don't remember how much it was earlier, but below 500, I think. I think yeah, I think it was around 300 or something there. For it looked like you got 50 gold each time you shot a chicken at it. Oh, these are the wild hands. Oh, and those are heartbeats and strange onions. These are what the rock slimes like, so we are putting that in a farm. Wait, why is it earthquake? Hmm. 
You didn't know there was an earthquake? Mm, not really, no. It, do, do, Hold on a second. Seriously? The ground started to shake and I heard the earthquake. And you didn't notice. Nope, I was kind of looking around for stuff. Uh, oh, we don't have these on the menu yet. But let's drop this for a moment. They are Briar Hen. A real wild bird that loves to ramble in the bramble. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, and they're favorite of the boom slimes. Hmm. I thought they were the favorite of the tabbies as well, but I guess I was wrong. Let's see. Briar hens are a chicken variant born from the wild thickets of the far, far range. They were first discovered long ago by an explorer who noted that they seem to have a complex tribal structure and a fascinating series of chicken customs. He, 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 even, may be, he even may have joined the Briar tribe as an unmarried chicken himself. What the heck? His records end there, however, and we know nothing else about him or his findings. Oh, but his name was Call. We know that. Okay. Uh, Briar hens, pure like lay eggs. Oh, actually, all of the air, uh, all of the chickens now lay eggs. It's not just the. Uh, <clears throat> it's not just that. Uh, wait, where did the, uh, there it is? It's not just that. Uh, only the sea hens do that. I'm, I'm not sure if the chickens actually laid eggs in Slime Rancher 1 or not. But they all do now, at least. I think they did in 1 as well, just... Yeah, they just lay an egg and instantly hatch right away. Could be that, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, there was something hidden here. <coughs> Pardon? And, yeah, I think it might actually be that these are for boom plorts. Yeah, that, that looks like a boom, a, quite a boomer. Yes, I made a joke. Sorry, it was too easy to do. I cannot resist. It's... Oh my god, I'm feel so much ashamed to do a boomer joke. So we <laughs> fell in there in the last time, I think. So let's not. <laughs> um. Oh, another. Tanuki slimes urn. Or, no, Tanuki slime toy. Okay. Oh. Hmm. That face expression. Let's see, anything here where we can cheese ourselves into getting? Ooh. Hmm. Okay, we have about half an hour left, and yeah, I am starting to feel pretty tired as is. Yeah, so hopefully means very... you're about to get a normal sleep cycle again. Hopefully, yeah. Let's see. Oh, another lar no, no, Gordo. Is he on the map now? No. Uh, let's dump that there for a moment. And Crystal is veggie, so let's just get a bit of an angle so we don't have to climb all the way up again. There we go. And Okay, once we fed them one thing, they appear on the map. Let's leave you here for the moment. <laughs> okay. Oh, there we go. Puddle slimes. Hmm. Yeah, another question is what should we abandon? I think we need the uh, ore. Yeah, we can get rid of these. Yeah, we're actually shooting them far enough away that they despawn. Oh, what do you want to say? They l land on the side. Okay. Uh, puddle slime. Keep one in your boot and it'll always stay cool. But it's weird. 
<laughs> Jay. <clears throat> oh dear. <clears throat> Jay. Hopefully that'll help a bit. Bubble slimes are a rare species of slime that live in fresh water pools found on the range. These slimes don't eat fruits, veggies, or meat like most other slimes. Instead, puddle slimes absorb water into their bodies while they sit on the surface of a pool. Puddle slimes need fresh water to survive and will quickly evaporate if left on any other surface for too long. Puddle slimes aren't risky to manage, they just require a bit of maintenance. A fair bit of maintenance. The rancher needs a pool of fresh water, like a pond, available for a puddle slime and its plorts to sit in as they will evaporate if away from water. Finally, puddle slimes are exceptionally shy and will not produce plorts if they are in close proximity to more than three other slimes, so maximum of four. Overall, a puddle slime is a better fit for a more experienced rancher, one not, not one still wet behind the ears. Come on! Puddle plorts are made almost entirely from an incredibly hydro compound known by chemists across the galaxy as H2O. This compound is used to create an absurdly expensive brand of bottled drinking water that is sought after by the elite back on Earth. <laughs> really? <laughs> Dear gods. While some people argue that there is little difference in taste between it and tap water, those people seriously are not getting it. <laughs> uh, at least it's not uh, bath water. Ugh. Uh, I, I, I'm glad I keep forgetting that uh, that's a thing. Let's see. Is there anywhere else we can go from here? <clears throat> Pardon, if that was audible. I don't think it was. I don't think it was. Okay. I don't think we can get much higher than here. And is that a part? No, that's a, that's a spout of sand. That's probably sand, uh, silky sand. Hmm. Okay, let's just head back for the moment with our loot. Uh, uh, maybe we can spot the uh, your tanuki. Uh, where did I leave that actually? Uh, over there. It's right over there. I'm also keeping an eye out for the map marker. Because that is still somewhere around here. Yep, another bloody... Screw the chickens. We want that. A gold plort. <laughs> Get rich or die sliming. Oh, come on. <laughs> the, the most elusive and sought after of all slime species easily the gold slime. Very little is known about these slippery creatures as they have proven impossible to capture. Gold slimes are quick as a flash and will immediately begin to flee ranchers on sight. If a rancher is to profit from an encounter with a gold slime, they need to think quick. Gold slimes produce no direct risk to a rancher, but their appearance often induces panic and leads to sometimes fatal mistakes. Further, the only way to obtain gold plorts is to strike a gold slime with any spare resources in your rack. Doing so can produce a gold plort, though it is also uh, it also leaves a trail of additional resources in the area, leading to unintended largos or worse. Uh, gold plorts have little practical use and are the most valuable of all plorts simply because they are shiny and rare. Back on the earth, the elite love to adorn themselves in jewelry made of gold plorts, far exceeding the value of any terrestrial precious metal. For this reason, a rancher should never pass up the chance to get a gold plort or two from a chance encounter with the gold slime. So, yeah, the that is definitely worth the chickens. The elites were... Um, jewelry made of poop. <laughs> Slime poop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if if that's what plot is. 
It's... How did it really explain exactly what Plurt is? Not really, no. And I think that they are specifically not to just so that people can make the jokes. Oh dear. Okay. Someone's happy to see us. <laughs> Enough to do a backflip. Oh, no, 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 no. That was not the backflip. It was you kicking the chicken. <laughs> okay. Let's quickly deposit these. And go. There's the observatory. There's just a bit of visible between the rocks. Hmm. Oh, there's a statue of what? What's the? That's a new logo. <laughs> but there's a statue. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're we're all clear. We'll replace the water lettuce with the heartbeats for the rock slimes or the rock tabbies. We'll put that somewhere. For the moment, though. There. They will probably end up with too many Lagos in there, but we can just throw out a few if needed. Maybe make a new garden? Uh, we have no use for these at the moment, since we're not ho we don't have any cotton slimes. <laughs> Presume they count as veggies, and okay, that was a very spinny strawberry. And I'm still uh, surprised I haven't eaten a single strawberry this year. Yep, yeah, those count. Okay. Now, how much is this gold plot worth? It's 393. There we go. Nice. And then we have another batch for these guys. Look at them go. Yeah, we really should mix these with something. Since we have such easy access to their favorite foods. Let's see. Anything we can afford? Uh, let's make another one of these, just so we can put one on the other island. And well, should then... we be able to, uh, buy, able to buy a new upgrade? Uh, almost the tank booster, if we get 10 tabby plorts. Uh, we still need puddle plorts here and anglers, more deep brine. Maybe, yeah, we can upgrade our energy some. Oh, that, that's going <laughs> big. Oh, primordial oil. But we have enough other stuff for that battery thing. Yeah, batty plorts, jelly stone, power chip. I'm saving the rest of this cash at the moment. And yeah, with this we can... Do we even have access to the... <clears throat> to the pond already? Yeah, there we go. See? Yeah. Ah, oh, come on. Adorable. Oh. Only four in an area will work, so one can go for a swim. <laughs> Wait. Okay. They prefer fresh water. There we go. Elder Hen, an old bird whose egg-laying days are over easy. Elder Hens have lived a full feathered life, they've met the rooster of their dreams, seen their little cuckadoos grow up, and are ready to start the next chapter of their chicken lives. In all likelihood, this will include getting the names of countless books, movies, and actors wrong, but don't blame them for that, they're chickens for goodness sake. 
Uh, an elder hen can no longer lay eggs and serves no other purpose than becoming a slightly toxic chicken dinner. Oh, For that, no. this first one can live. Yeah, but that does oh, leave us without dear. any hens at the moment. Hmm. Wait, why is there only three? Yeah, there, we only put in three, because we only have three chickens to feed them. Oh. And you can go there. I would right. not be surprised if you mistake it for a slime a few times. Oop, another good batch. M maybe we should put the anglers down here to mix with them. If we can bring one of them down here, at least. Let's see. Boom plorts, tabby plorts, rock plorts and silk sand, puddle plorts, angler plorts. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, let, let's leave them as is at the moment. Maybe we could mix them with honey, but that might lure any slimes that escape. Uh, down there. And yeah, we're a bit overcrowded with these for the moment, so bye bye. Uh, nice try. <laughs> Actually, now. <laughs> hmm. Nah, let's not. Wait, hold on. Oh, oh wait, never mind. I was to say, wait. That one already had uh, the net, but no, it was a d different uh, one. Let's put a net over this one. There we go. You know you have a collector, right? Yep. Oh, that's a bunch. That is more than we need. Go, just in case any of those get out. Oh, he hello. Uh, wait, wait, what? Ringtail slime. <laughs> Where there's a crime, there's a ringtail slime. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. Let What's the statue? An actual slime? By the looks of it. Uh, let's see. Ringtail slimes are nothing but trouble. Theft under cover of darkness is their favorite hobby, and they delight in getting away with as much <laughs> as possible before the sun rises. The reason for this exclusively moonlit crime spree is that ringtails have a peculiar condition that transforms them into stone when exposed to sunlight. And while we're not saying this is an ancient curse, they're definitely the type of slime who would have an ancient curse if that was a thing. <laughs> okay, so they, <laughs> they turned the statues during the day. Let's see. Once a ringtail slime starts eating, it will never stop. Just one ringtail slime is capable of wiping out an entire farm if given the time. And they offer nothing in return because a ringtail slime st stops producing plorts when, uh, when it would otherwise be full. If you plan on ransing these ravenous rascals, keep an eye out for a mischievous, uh, mis mischievous expression to know when to avoid feeding them. Materials developed from wingtail plorts are extremely resilient, actually hardening in the face of UV rays. And similar to pink plorts, ringtail plorts are very, very malleable, allowing a clever person to craft a wide range of uh, things that can stand the test of time. Such things could be something as essential as sturdy shelter on a faraway island, or as simple as a collection of family photos that could survive a track across a scorching desert. Okay. <laughs> so we are looking here. for them then. Now we could actually put them in here. Uh, and they could eat everything that we leave down here. Yeah, hmm. without giving you any plort. Anyways, for now, let's you, throw you, these in here. You rather put it in a cage, I say. 
Probably, yeah, I... unless we sp very specifically feed them. Yeah, uh, actually... Should we combine them with the angler? That's good. Yeah, I want to mix them with at least something. And it would be interesting to see how those would end up. And, well, we have two spares, even if <laughs> that screws up somehow. So, in you go. A little goopy bastard. And... Oh, time to end oh. retirement. Okay. Let's check. First, let's feed you. Right into its maw. And... <laughs> and then it got, then it got flashed. Uh, I guess these two would fit rather well together. Uh, they look a bit like cops with their flashlights like that. And then we have the little bandit. Okay, time to even the odds and... <laughs> That's okay. adorable. Uh, oof. Pardon. What's that loud? Yeah. So really... Uh, now, now we've got a little, now, not so little, double agent. <laughs> Actually, did it say... Yeah. Ringtails eat everything, so if we just steal a bit of that. Uh, and yeah, it, it just ate that without giving any plorts. Yeah, you need to look for its uh, face expression. There we go. And now we've got a little gang of uh, robbers. I think I'm going just... to leave it at that amount. Yeah, I, I just pray they won't be able to... Um, <laughs> ...break out somehow. Yeah, they might find a, uh, a way. <laughs> uh, I, I, I still find it comical. I said earlier that I would not be surprised if you mistake the statue for a slime a few times. And turns out it's a bloody slime. Yeah, like that, that, that was a plot twist. Okay, let's check in with the water slimes. You already produced a bit. Stay in here. Okay, a good amount of progress. We cleared out uh, the, the the pink bunnies uh, got a few other slimes in here still need to get yeah let let's mix these with the bats you're already concerned we do need the bad uh, plorts true so Let's see, we have some 10 minutes left, so let's go rush over and do that. We have 12. Yeah, to be more accurate, yeah. Uh, let's see. Were they actually... I think they were on both islands. <clears throat> okay, so while we rush over... Let's take out a drink. Let's see. Yeah, I can definitely say that I feel better now than bef before we started the stream. Yeah, this, this is a relaxing game that just makes me want to smile. Yeah, as much as I seem to play it like a, twi <laughs> a Twitch shooter from time to time. Which <laughs> shooter? What the heck do you mean with that? Uh, think like Call of Duty and such, where if you manage to get the fir the drop on the enemy first, then you're probably going to be the one walking away from it. Huh? 
Okay, okay. The little bastard who tried to eat the fruit just we were sucking it up. Okay, we need you. I'm just grabbing these pork because we can put them away in a bit. <laughs> oh, phosphor. Yeah, yep. Nope, nope. Nope, nope, indeed. The only time you stop smiling in this game is when that happens. Yeah. You stop smiling when the tar starts smiling. Yeah. Actually, I think you would do that even in real life. Okay, let's just grab as much fruit as we can. There we go. And yeah, we head for the bat to see if we can pop him. Let's see, I think there was another fruit I plant here. Beg your pardon? Yeah, the bat gordo. Oh! Uh, yeah, it, it, this game is just already great as just a relaxation game. Yeah, it's a, it, I mean, it, it, and actually, yeah, and if you even if, if you are able to relax, you have easier time just to relax and get healthy again. Yeah. Uh, I'll try to look if I can take a week or two off from work. Uh, I generally do have to ask it in a, you know, like two weeks in advance. And even then it could be rejected because we are... You now nah, we're not there yet, but... Uh, <clears throat> a lot of people around the holidays are going to request time off, of course. Uh, so generally during those times it's a lot harder to get that approved, but we aren't there yet. Okay. Would you would be given some time off the, during the holidays? Yeah, the way they deal with that, yeah, one way they they deal with uh, trying to minimize shortages. That's a lot of sea hands. Is by basically doing a. <clears throat> uh, I'm not really sure what to call it, but if you uh, if you have to well work on. Uh, a holiday one year, then the next year you have it guaranteed off. Okay, that's... fair, I guess. Yeah. yeah. We're not that close to the holidays yet. Thank you. I get the feeling this might not be enough fruits to get the Gordo to, well, be filled up. But still, it'll be a start, and I can hear the tar music. Yeah. Instantly concerned. It's, it's not even a scary track. It just gets the, the hair on the back of your neck standing up when you hear that start. Hello. And this is... A decoration. Okay. We should, we should probably investigate how decoration works here. Yeah, I, I think hope they that work they the same. I, I kind of hope they don't. Uh, I hope they have their own designated areas, for otherwise... The decorations are almost useless, otherwise. Okay, here we go. 19 pogo fruits. I probably fed this thing before because he was on the map. And yeah, not enough. And I don't think we're going to find fruit in a lava cave. Uh, you can. There, there, there is a tree in here you, I think you could harvest from. Lava dust. Eww. Stay yeah, out of the hot Yeah, watch out from... Yeah, watch out from the lava pools. Fire slimes. Okay. We'll check these in a second. Once we're a bit more secure. Oh, that's a briar hen. 
They're less useful at the moment. I thought I saw normal bats flying around. Hmm. Apparently not. Oh. What the? Oh, there's Wait, your I... phone. Oh, it's going off five minutes early for some reason. Oh wait, I yeah, I, I generally I have two timers generally, uh, one for two hours and one minute to start right before the stream would go live, uh, well the active stream, and one to start with along with the pre-stream, and I started the shorter one with the pre-stream, so of course it goes off early. Ah, okay, okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Any. Dude, what are you? A, a pink rock lago. For a moment, I thought that's a very big boom slime. I missed that earlier. Actually. We don't have a refinery set up here. So we might as well. Put it somewhere very noticeable. Uh oh. Okay. There we go. Now then. Oh, that's a little chickens you have there. Yeah. <laughs> we could probably we feed those to the crystal slime. Oh, hello there. Oh. The sun setting. No, the sun is rising. Now let's dump you off there for a moment. We'll grab you along. Actually, we don't have a real reason to grab those, since we already have enough of them. I have a feeling many ranchers lost a lot of food because they mistook them to be statues to be decorated with. Hold on. Utility. What was that thing we just picked up? It said it. It said meat slime lure or something or bait. Hmm. And it's not showing up under these. It seems. Okay. That that could actually be pretty useful, if you are. Uh, free ranging slimes. Yeah, unless it's meant for something else. Is that a gold there? I think that's a gold. And it vanished. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. So they 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 will get food on their own at times. Yeah, I think it ran into the carrots. <laughs> oh, fruit. Stealing that. And, uh, yeah, some familiar looking ruins, huh? Yeah. Let's see. Smaller ruins, but still the same architectural style. Hmm. I'm still curious as to what the connect exact connection is between these ruins and the slimes. Yeah. I hope we get some answers to it. Oh, another drone. The first time I was here, I turned this entire ruined complex into a beautiful garden. I'd never know the original purpose of this place, but I thought these creators might be happy knowing that far into the future, someone was making sure it still had purpose. Uh, there is no time for that now, but I'm going uh, to at least plant some of my favorite flowers right here and hope that in time, they'll flourish and cover these ruins once more. Maybe if I ever make it back home, I can see it myself. Okay, just what is this? Explorer or whatever they are up to with all of this. Mm, yeah. Okay. I'm ignoring the radiant ore because uh, actually we could probably get rid of the fire slime. 
since the, I, we don't have incinerators. And yeah, before we put the fire slime away, let's actually look it up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Like a little campfire, except that it moves and it's a slime. Fire <laughs> slimes are... Very... Go ahead. I was laughing and yawning at the same time. The fire slimes are a rare breed of slime that lives on ash. Uh, fire slimes will uh, eat just about any food, but not uh, without it being burned into ash first. The only way to feed a fire slime is to use an incinerator with an ash uh, throw uh, update, uh, upgrade. Fire slimes need ash to survive and will quickly snuff out if left on any other surface for too long. Uh, while keeping fire slimes in the ash throw, uh, simply burn any food item to produce some ash and fill the throw. Uh, I'm probably mispronouncing that. Uh, fire slime's natural uh, burning state makes them bad companions for other slimes as their fiery touch will send the slime flying. Additionally, fire slimes and their plorts need to be kept in an ash throw under an incinerator or they'll quickly snuff out. If you need to deal with fire slimes directly, a splash of fresh water will put out their fires for a short while. Fire plorts are used in the, development, uh, in, yeah, in the developing world on Earth to keep stoves and fireplaces burning. Thanks to fire plorts, warm hands and hot food is a possibility for millions of people who otherwise would not have access to such luxuries. What? A rancher won't get rich selling fire plorts, and certainly managing them can be a dangerous endeavor. But they should know that the sale of the each helps those in need. Now and far into the future, the little noble acts of every individual will help us move forward as a people. That much will never change. Alright. Sadly, this one won't be contributing to that. Because we need that radiant ore. Oh no, it's remembered. Some of these slimes can talk. Uh, yeah, the ones in the... <laughs> the ones in the trench coat. Um, yeah. Is it... It's pretty they go through their stories. Hmm. Now, I'm not sure if they... I don't think they showed up besides the occasional trade thing. Maybe they'll show up again. Uh, Bob, they were called. Last chicken. And yeah, we've had... We've hit 10 p.m., so let's head back. Uh, actually, is there one we can... Is there a spot we can put something down here? Yes, we can. So there, and then we put down a home portal. This gas is installed permanently until it's demolished. Okay. And then we just have a, a shortcut back. There we go. Nice. And we've got some. You know, we've got more than enough chickens at the moment. Let's just add a few. And then, oh, okay, they've all turned to stone now. In the meantime... And then we sell this one. Stable price. Put this away. Oh, one of them got stuck in there. And yeah, we didn't we didn't manage to find the bats, or at least we didn't manage to feed the big bat enough to pop them. Uh, let, let's try and keep that in mind for when we next do this again, which might be to, uh, well, which might be tomorrow, depending on matters. <clears throat> put that there. I don't mind the uh, like. I don't mind something some days, or showcase some days, but... Something about the Minecraft and Slime Branch on Sunday seems... very appealing and nice. Oh, what, the, what the hell is it? Uh, hello? Uh... I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Uhe Base to ends at 7 -0. <laughs> Uh, have a good broadcast. Catch promo code 10 viewers for... Uh, uh, okay, I... I have no idea if that is a bot or not. 
Uh, yeah, be, I, I to... just say be careful uh, with that. Uh, actually, I'm just going to look that up. I, uh, let's open up this browser because this is uh, probably flashbanged uh, Krakir there again. Because it, OBS just doesn't like that, having other things open on OBS now. Uh, let's see. Twitch Insights. And then we just put in that... Okay, doesn't come up as a known bot at the moment. Uh, yeah, then I should, guess... Hmm? They should not be... Ad I don't think that uh, ads should be come up in your chat at all. Says, I don't think you give the permission to bring out ads in your chat. Uh, I don't know what exactly it's an ad for at the moment. It's catch promo code, 10 viewers for 24 hours. Promo code for what, though, exactly? That is the uh, question. Yeah, that's uh, a red flag right away. Remove it if you can. Hmm. Yeah, it, it doesn't come up as a known bot, at least, so I'm not going to outright ban it at the moment. Uh, but it reads as a very bot -y name, so... Yeah. <laughs> At your own risk if... Yeah, I have no, no clue. You, you, no, you know what, people? Don't. Just don't. Uh, let's just grab the rest of the harvest here. And hopefully having my an inventory full of fruits will be enough to remind me to go after the, the bats. So for now, save and quit. And yeah, quit from here, go to here, and then we go look for someone to raid. Uh, what Can is that? Can a little potato? <laughs> uh, I mean, Let's see. Uh, they're not streaming at the moment. Uh, but Lil Tree is, well, live, as is in their name as well. Uh, they're streaming Valorant. Which is that Overwatch-like shooter, which I think might might get a bit of a big boost now that Overwatch 1 has been killed off in favor for Overwatch 2. And some of the things they want for people to make an account, uh, yeah, has me thinking that a lot of people won't make the jump. <clears throat> oh yeah, uh, Lil oh, Tree is streaming Valorant, Brandon the Chihuahua is streaming Stardew Valley. Uh, Viking Blonde is starting up their stream, it seems. And then we have Schmoops, Author Nonsense, who is streaming Space Station 13. <laughs> if you know what that is, then you know the mayhem that could lead to. What have we here? I don't think I've heard of it at all. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll send you a video about it. That would be far easier to explain it than try and explain it in words. Uh, I just noticed among the recommended channels here, Sushi Fur, who is streaming Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Ain't that an old game by now? Yep, an probably not game. even on the online stores. Okay, maybe they have the, had already bought it before it was removed, or they actually had a physical copy. Yeah, probably a physical copy. To my knowledge, the Harry Potter games aren't on Steam or Origin. But, uh... Yeah, let's... Uh, shall we go rate them or either Brandon or Lil Tree? I say Lil Tree. Okay. Then the usual, mute sites, go to their stream, copy over their name just to be absolutely certain. Then we move over to our channel, or actually I could just use the... Uh, yeah, let, let's just do it like this. That, that way I'll also just move along with the, your raid, actually. And uh, yeah, let's uh, so raid there. Maybe why I would prefer the raccoon cannon. And let's see. Can I actually remove this? Because I am... Yeah, this really does... Uh, I can't see a... I probably need to be in the moderator's view of this to actually remove that at the moment. But... Uh, yeah, let's let's not. Anyone don't do what... Normally something like that would have a link. So if this is a, if this is a phishing bot or something, it's a shitty one. Yeah, but, yeah. but if, it, <clears throat> if it was an official one for something, 
That is a very bad promotion. Uh, true. Um, yeah, if it was someone real, they probably would have responded by now. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> Enough about that, though. Uh, thank you, anyone else for watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Noon, for showing up. Uh, same for you, Pramcio6 and uh, uh, Tatum as well. And yeah, this is so... <clears throat> Anyway, so that, uh, I see you in the chat there as well, Sentai Tadpole. Thank you for lurking. And, uh, yeah, thank you as always as well, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And, yeah, if, even if this may not have helped me recover physically, it has, help, it has helped mentally at least somewhat. So, let's start this the raid. Good. And, uh... <clears throat> yeah. Uh... We'll see when we can stream again. If I'm not recovered enough for work tomorrow, then tomorrow. Otherwise, likely Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, until then, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for sea hens. <laughs> and ringtails.